All right, so let's talk about the new liquidity that has entered the NFT market because it's been pretty crazy. Uh, we recently saw Moonbirds, which right. was the project we were just mentioning. Uh, tremendous liquidity. I believe they added around $369 million in sales. Uh, what else, John? Like, what else has been happening for folks to to know, you know, what's going on? So, you know, we're in this run up, right, to uh, the other side. So, you know, ApeCoin has gone from, you know, being in the single digits. Yes. To going up to this morning, it was like $23.50. Obviously, that's trading, so it doesn't stay constant. Um, you know, Yuga Labs. Reaching new milestones. I mean, board apes are over 150 and mutants are 40 plus. Yeah, and they've been holding strong. Which um, is going to really shatter our predictions, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so for the folks that are joining us uh, on this podcast, uh, on the last podcast, me and John had, uh, basically, uh, we said, hey, you know, our prediction, our price prediction on, on Yuga Labs uh, with board ape and mutants was board ape will hit 150. <laughs> by next podcast, they got to that, right? I think mutants were 50, 50. by EO, EOY. I think it was the end of your prediction. Yeah, end of your I prediction. Think, I think we were predicting board apes to hit 200. Okay, okay. And uh, mutants to hit 50. I think. You yeah, know, I mean, they're going to shatter, you know, <laughs> you know, those numbers, which is crazy. But, but you know, going back, like, you know, mutants were like 17. Yeah. You know, like, no one's thinking. Hey, we're gonna go. We're gonna go double up here. But yeah, so like, folks, to understand just how much, right? You're talking about two giant collections, practically doubling from where they were a month ago. Three hundred and sixty-nine million dollars uh, in sales for Moonbirds, and you're talking about Ape Coin. So you're talking about, uh, you know, tons of Ape holders uh, got Ape Coin, where it was valued at seven to eight dollars, and this thing literally two, three, four x you know, where it was, you know, so it's, it's, well, if crazy. we use the number like seven or eight, yeah. Right. And now it's at 23, you know, you're talking about pretty much a tripling. Yeah. Yeah. It's, in it's a very, in a very short period of time. And obviously that's part of the run up to the other side, right. Which could be the most important um, piece of property in the metaverse. I mean, yeah. this is Yuga labs. Um, and so we're going to see a lot of interesting things happen in the next 24 hours, which I think we're going to talk about soon on this podcast. Um, one of the things that it's having on the uh, marketplace is a reverse positive effect. Correct. Right? Be, I mean, tons of, tons of folks are selling off just to prepare themselves for the other side drop. Um, I, I mean, I'm seeing it right. So in, in, in two sides, right. I see one side of my portfolio is going up. The other side is like dying, crashing and burning. And, yeah. yeah. And, and it's like, yeah, you could just literally, I mean, look at folks wallets. I know you did like a deeper dive into it. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, tons of people are, you know, getting out of projects to have that E for ape coin ready for what's about to happen. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if, you know, I, I follow some people on Twitter who do some pretty deep analysis. Um, and it was interesting because in my mind, I was like, yeah, the top five are just taking all the ETH, right? They're sucking all the ETH yeah. out, of, out of the world. But when I actually started reading analysis, um, you know, one of, the, one of the victims of this is, you know, even in the more popular collections, there's like five collections that are really um, taking all the ETH. Then when you go down to the mid caps, Right. So let's say two to four ETH sets. Yeah. They're down like 40%. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And yeah. then everything below that is, you know, um, in the last week, the volume, you know, the floor, vo you know, the trading volume yeah. and the floor prices, floor prices are just sort of, you know, sort of creeping down slowly. Yeah. But the volume, yeah. it's, it's, it's it was like decimated. <laughs> it, it, it's like, you know, everybody just decided to move out of a city. Yeah. <laughs> and then you wake up and you walk around like, where is everybody? Yeah. <laughs> Open sea got COVID. Everybody, everybody was out. Um, yeah, no, I, I think it's crazy. I think it goes back to the whole FOMO, right? So it's like, all right, I missed my chance. And, and man, I will say this for the folks that are like, hey, I didn't get that opportunity, right? So if you miss your chance with Board Ape, you had the Mutant collection. Well, Board Ape, then you had Keno, then you had the Mutant 
then then everyone was able to buy ape coin. I mean, if you did not own a board ape or a mutant and you just said, you know what? I believe in, in these guys, everything, what they're doing, whatever. I'll, I'll put 10 grand here. Well, you have $30,000 today. Congratulations. The project has done well. And one of the things that uh, one of the founders added, um, I remember when they were talking about their coin was they wanted other people to participate, right? And, and be part of this, you know, uh, board a family. And, and I just think like, th you know, after missing out the coin for whoever that person was, now they're like, okay, that's it. I'm done. I, I, whatever you guys are doing, I'm jumping in. <laughs> right. And I think it's that FOMO and, and it's really, you know, they've proven themselves. Like when has, you know, uh, Yuga labs not delivered, right? It's a flight to quality. Yeah. You know, if we were trading stocks, they would say it's, you know, it's a flight to quality. People are putting their money on the blue chips that they know are, are, are going to perform. And, and so it's, it's had that effect, not only on the, I mean, there are other, you know, uh, blue chip NFT collections yeah. that are losing oxygen. W World of women is down. Cool cats are down. Um, uh, uh, me bits are one of the collections that are up. Right. Well, Kennel, they're, they're in the uh, family. Yeah. They're in the family. Um, but I mean, uh, I'm a big fan of Roboto's Roboto's collection is down. Dead fellas has been maintaining, but I mean, you're right. I mean, the majority, I mean, uh, 90 something percent of these collections, uh, have plummeted from where they were a month ago. So dear listener, if you've been holding stuff that's, you know, creeping down, uh, it's an opportunity to, to buy more. Yeah. Or if the collection is good. Definitely. If yeah. the collection is good. It's an opportunity to buy more or just to be patient.